been a while again. More stuff, just life things happening, unfortunately, that take me away from doing the vlog. I'm trying to keep finding a way to structure and organize this. One thing I really did want to do for February was something to do with Black History Month. Um, it's a very big area and topic within American history as well as in current affairs right now. And then I started looking into this a little bit more and I realized actually this probably isn't the best thing for me to be talking about. I come from a country where although we do have racism, we didn't have this uh, segregation and the some of the horrific things that did happen to the black community uh, through the last couple of hundred years. And then I got a friend actually, um, she wanted a website doing to kind of help the people of South Chicago. They've labeled now Chirac because of how horrific it's become. And I thought it was a really good cause. And I think there are people who do, who are in gangs, who necessarily maybe don't want to be in gangs anymore and they're just stuck in that kind of situation and therefore they're looking for something to get them out or some kind of light or a hope or something to to do this so I, I gave uh, some time and helped develop a website and I'll put the link into the description so you can go and see what that's about. I think it's a good cause. I went to go buy some new trainers on bleh, Saturday. Uh, nice day out in, it was a nice day in Manhattan so I went to the Nike store see what they had and as I was walking out of the Nike store uh, this young guy gave us an album on a CD, which is pretty much a dead medium. I have no way of playing this. Um, he has nicknamed me P Nasty as my uh, as my rap name, which I thought was funny at the time, and now that I realise it, it sounds like a urine infection. He wanted some cash for the CD. I don't carry cash. I haven't carried cash in years. This costs them money, things for them to do, and they're not getting what they call the ripple effect. For example, had I been out on the streets and he was there with his camera with a live internet connection or was recording me and said like, hey, come on, rap with me on the street, even, even something like a simple tongue twister, it's a little bit of fun, I get to know the guys. That way then when I go online, I want to go and find myself and, and there's his YouTube channel, I'll like it, oh look, here's me. I then share it around my social media, etc, etc. Uh, P nasty? That's much more productive than this. One of the reasons I do this vlog is to help with my communication, to help um, verbalize out what I had in my head and, and to talk more. And So here's, here's a little challenge. If we can get, what, 50 likes on this video, um, I'm gonna reach out to this guy. I did speak to him about this before. We'll play some of his music now. So I said to him, look, I'll reach out to him on YouTube. Maybe we can do something. So if this video can get 50 likes, I will reach out to this guy and learn how to rap with the intent to go to uh, Times Square, the red steps there, and I'll do it live on YouTube. Go like this video and hopefully we'll have something funnier. It's gonna be hysterical, let's be honest, it's gonna fail miserably, but it'll be funny to do. So share the video, get, get some likes, and let's see how that pans out. I'll reach out and we'll we'll take it from there. If not, maybe I'll find somebody else who will. I'm, I'm sure there's people out there who want to try and make this rap. Next year, I'd like to maybe uh, bring some friends in who are a lot more aware of the current situation as well as the previous situation to do comparisons and give a better insight.